Hey guys, what is up? It's Wolf, your one and only, coming at you guys with the beginner guide. And we're actually starting off small, so this is going to be a very short video, or I'm going to at least try and make it a short video. So with that said, let's get into it. First things first is I'm going to show you guys the character interface. Here's the character interface. So let's first talk about gear. The only gears you can have is your helmet, which is your head, your armor, which is your chest, your waist, which is pretty much like your skirt. I mean, that's what it looks like. But anyway, the, the next one is your gauntlet, which is your hand. Next one is just your feet. <laughs> then you have your neck for your um, necklace. Then you have your rings. Then you have your cape, which is pretty much just your back. Then you can carry around two trinkets. There's your weapon, then... You guys may think these are the same thing, but they're actually not. This over here is your costume. Outfits, they don't count as um, pretty much costumes. Outfit actually counts as gear. If you put on an outfit, the outfit's automatically going to take over. But if you push this little dot right here, it hides the costume and hides anything you put up. You can even hide the outfit itself. But anywho, for your outfits you have your head costume, your face costume, your chest costume, your weapon costume, and your back costume. You can even dye it if you have dye. The only thing dyeable I have is my ears, but I don't have any dye on me, so yeah. <laughs> Didn't come prepared for that one. So let's continue on. Next is your points. Now I do want you guys to remember that you cannot put like every last point into one, one side. It only goes up to what level you are. So only, I'm only level 38, so I can only put in 38 points. Boom, it won't let me go up anywhere else from there because I'm level 38. I can't put any more points in that. So it will force me to put something, put some points into something else. So I hope you guys do remember that. Another thing that people ask me is what build should I use? Well, it's really difficult to give you guys a build because I don't know your gameplay. I really don't. It's really more of you have to test the water and pretty much get a feel of what you want. Now, I do want you guys to remember that at level 40, you can no longer reset your points for free. At level 40, it's going to be like 50 go just to reset. And that's going to be really troublesome. So do figure out your build before you get to level 40. Next is your little detail button here. It tells you all the things you really need to know. Your resistance. Now it does give the element of the boss you're fighting. So do remember that you want to build resistance against a boss of any of these elements because that's really going to help you out in survival. So next is your movement speed. I can only move 100. I don't have any speed boosts on me, so 100% is just pretty much normal speed. Next is your crit damage, and it tells you how much damage you do, how much extra damage you do. So as Samurai, it just pretty much, it's minor damage. It just hits like 11,000 pretty much. And your attack speed, I'm currently increasing my attack speed because it would help me out a lot. <laughs> Next is our healing bonus so you would heal your um, teammates a lot better so I do recommend this for clerics if you find any healing items that give you a boost I do recommend you guys take it because it would help you out a lot and it'll help your team out a lot next is we're gonna move on to titles now this little bonus menu right here is also the same thing for title it just tells you what you get 
off that. Your title is just basically based off two um, words, which is pretty much your prefix and your suffix. So you can just combine random titles with anything you want, like the original. Just come up with something, anything you want. Um, I don't have a lot of titles. Well, as many as I thought I did. The original Snoop Dogg. There we go. <laughs> so this does pop up above your head. As you can see, the original Snoop Dogg. All right. I'm going to change that back later. <laughs> okay, your influence points. Your influence points are basically you completing missions inside of the instance. I'm going to show you guys where the instance are to get these points. But first, you would have to grab quests. Okay, thank you. Anywho, these points right here. Once you complete that quest, the bonuses go into here. As you can see, I only finished like 11 quests. So, it only went up to... The game keeps interrupting me. But to go to your shop to where you would, if you have enough points, you can actually buy new things. So let's go there. And not get caught on the bridge. So here we are, we're at Alchemy, I believe. This is the Alchemy one. Yep, so I have some items available to me now. So I can buy these if I wanted to. And these increases my HP for five minutes. These bonuses are very helpful. I do recommend you guys do these. Um, these instant quests and get up your whole reputation and everything through them because it's really gonna help you guys a lot these bonus items are really gonna help you and it's good to have around you can even get some mounts from these guys as soon as you get yeah 8,000 that is gonna be uh pretty much a train for me there's a healing item for you guys but anywho, now that we're done with that, let's get back into the rest. Do not be alarmed, that mount is not permanent, it's just a 7 day, which makes me really sad. Now that we're done with influence and pretty much everything you would need to know about that, we're going to get down to the profession, which is pretty much like a job system. So this one is mining, crafting, fishing cooking and breeding so mining is pretty much just mining the random ores that you or rocks that you see on maps and crafting is pretty much just making items just your daily life just to keep up with the game <laughs> fishing is pretty much just going around and catching random fish but at certain points you can your points die off if you catch lower fish. So do make sure to keep up in the higher levels where you can get actual good fish and get points. Your next one is cooking and breeding. These are pretty much just inside of your ranch. So do keep up with that. And what are the benefits of this you ask? You get extra points for it. So if I was to level up my mining, I would get more things. And those things are increase my movement speed Increase my movement speed again, but have a chance of getting additional loot from these mining. And I would get more and more and more. As you can see, these stats just keep going. I think the max level is probably 8. So do make sure you guys mine anything. Even if you don't need the ore, just mine it. It might help you out. It might not. So for this one, crafting is just its normal system. 
not many things for that one. I do recommend this one for PvPers. So get out there and start fishing. Max HP, max I might start doing that one. I Yeah, I might start doing that one. <laughs> Alright. And now your professional gear, which is pretty much just one thing, and that's fishing. And that's where you increase equip your rods and fishing armor. Fishing gear, I guess. So that's pretty much it for the whole character system, guys. Uh, I wish I could show you guys a lot more in this episode, but I want to keep like somewhat of a short video because not everyone has like a long attention span anymore. They won't seriously watch the video through. And it's kind of a pain to try and edit everything together. So this is all going to leave you guys with hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time inside of the next beginner guide. Peace out.